Hey guys, welcome back again to another video with Mike at Open It and Play. Today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends Wolverine. Now this is the Wolverine costume where he's actually, I suppose it's the it's the X-Men costume originally, but it is also uh, the costume that he wears when he joins the Avengers. For a few years there, they had uh, a lot of Wolverine in comics, and um, he's always a popular character, but he was showing up everywhere, so it, they even had like the rumor like, how can Wolverine be everywhere at once? Maybe he's a scroll. And then they ended up using that or they ended up going with that storyline. And that was the, the scrolls, like, uh, scrolls take over. The, it's a huge storyline where the scrolls were in disguise as Avengers and X-Men and all kinds of characters for many years. But anyway, this guy is a pretty cool costume. He's not my favorite Wolverine costume. But this figure is supposed to be pretty good. It is uh, a little bit tall for a Wolverine figure, I think. And it is a little bit more muscular than the average Wolverine figure. So as far as my tastes go, he's a little overdone. But it is kind of the style of the artist who was drawing him at that time. So I guess it's, um, it's loyal to the artwork. But the artist was not exactly loyal to the character. It made him a... A little bit taller, a little bit, maybe a little bit more handsome. I'm not sure, but can see him through there. There, but let's get him out of the box. He's got this newer type of box. It's actually like a straight up rectangle. It opens really easy. Okay, I was gonna say I forgot to show his box. There he is. There he is. I got this for my Avengers display because despite having a million Avengers characters, I did want one one Spider-Man and one Wolverine to represent the comics from this time. That was around the time that I think Sentry was on the Avengers. So, but um it's uh celebrating Marvel 85 years. But um here he is and he comes with these claws, which are the better type of claws. We'll see as we get him out of the package, but it's kind of the main accessory for Wolverine is his claws. So I did want to focus on them real quick. These are considered some of the best claws. They are that thicker blade type, but it is kind of harder to screw them up. They don't get flexed around so easily like the other ones. But, um, whoa, I just, he poked himself in the face. I don't know if you could see that because it was out of focus, but yeah, I like these kind of claws. So, but let's look at his accessories first. So he has an alternate head. Strangely, his alternate head is actually his mask face. Or masked face, I should say. I think this is a really good face. He's got a kind of a nasty growl or grimace there. It's a pretty good amount of detail. One thing I did notice at the store when I was buying these guys, almost everyone had just this little bit of paint that was screwed up on their neck to chin area. But it's not a big deal, but I was kind of surprised every single one at Toys R Us in Japan had that. Okay, and then you can see his others, he's got a pointing finger over here He's got an open palm that's kind of the fingers splayed out, and then he has two fists. But um, I don't think there's much to see with all of those, but I will pop them out of the package real quick. The one thing I would say that's noteworthy about this is the hands are all quite big. That part makes me feel a little bit weird about the figure. You can see them here, but I'll hold them up. So we got these guys. They do have a very good sculpt. You can see the gloves clearly. Okay, and then these guys. But I don't know why they made them quite so dang big. It looks like the hand size of a bigger figure, but they are Wolverine. 
Okay, and there he is in all of his semi-squatty glory. You can see what we said here about the, the biceps. His biceps are really thick. I don't know why they chose to go that thick, but I guess that is how he was drawn. The artist was taking some liberties with the character for sure. Okay, and we'll see his costume. Quick go around. It's got pretty nice details. I was trying hard to figure out for sure if this was the costume for when he's on the Avengers. And apparently it is. He does wear the head when he's on the Avengers, so I'm actually going to give him that head right now. Okay. We can take a look at this starting the articulation. So he does have a, a dumbbell joint in there. The range is not great because it's kind of the usual Marvel Legends where they don't know how to do it very well. And you can see the, the yellows don't exactly match up. It's close enough to where it makes the, the head kind of pop compared to the rest of the figure. But it is kind of weird they didn't match it better than that. But it, it works. Maybe the comics were the same way, but I don't remember that part from the comics. So, um, yeah, the comic story, by the way, where it was the scrolls, that was a secret invasion. For some reason, a few minutes ago, I couldn't think of the name of the story. His, uh, his one foot's giving me a little bit of trouble. Oh, come on. Okay, he's not going to stand easily. I'm going to have to work with him a little bit more. There we go. Okay. But yeah, um, we'll look at the articulation as promised. So, can look up that high, down. That's pretty disappointing, huh? He's got... Uh, these butterfly joints, which are really good, actually. That's the uh, best butterfly joints I've seen on a Marvel Legends that I can remember. His arms will go all the way around. He's got the bicep cut. Okay, I, mean, I like that they did that curved. Sometimes they screw that up, but looks pretty good. He's got pinless double-jointed elbows. So for some reason, he just will not focus this yellow, maybe. Okay, that'll bring you the, the double jointed, will bring you up to there. Okay, and he's got the usual swivel and hinge at the wrist. Okay, I think all of his hands, let's make sure. Horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. Yeah, they all have horizontal hinges. Okay, that probably couldn't focus well, but... Okay, he'll bend down to there. That's really good. And he'll bend back to there. Mm, there. But yeah, it goes forward by itself. So it's not a whole lot for going back. He, he does not twist at the waist. He twists at the torso, so... You like it or or hate it, that's the way it is. Okay, he can kick up to here. It's not too bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad. And um, he does have a thigh cut. He's got double jointed pinless knees. It'll bring his legs back that far. I'm sorry, this yellow just does not wanna show up on camera. It's just always out of focus. Okay, and again, they failed to give boot cut. I forgot about that. Okay, and then his ankles hinge and pivot. Pretty decent. I I'd, I'd say decent, but it does it does kind of have like the predisposed positions in there where it sort of uh, settles on. And for mine, those positions are both either too far back to stand or too far forward to stand. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't want to stand very easily. But um, I got this guy for my Avengers display and I got all the Avengers behind him. So he's going to take his place at the Avengers side if I can get him to stand. Will he stand? 
And can I reach him without knocking down everything? He will not stand. <laughs> okay, I'll give him a little bit of a little bit of a hinge at the knee here. That might help him. There goes U.S. Agent Wolverine and U.S. Agent. That's an interesting combination. Okay. There he goes. All right. Now I just have to settle on a Spider-Man for my Avengers display. Okay, thank you guys for joining me. I would recommend this guy because I don't know the next time that they're going to come out with this costume. But um, despite having a few parts that were oversized, like the hands, the biceps, and his height in general is a little bit taller than the standard Wolverine figure, I do think he's a, a pretty well-designed figure. I do think you'll probably be happy with him. It is a cool costume and a kind of a modern update on the 90s look. But um, yeah, since it's his, his Avengers costume, I, I got to go with it. So, okay. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.